We've got the Takaipa Creme de Cassis. Now this is a, a very, very simple drink. We're going to build this. Again, put as much ice as you can into the glass. The more ice, the longer, the, the, the colder the drink stays, the longer. I'm going to add a large measure of brandy. Okay. Three barrels of brandy. When you say a large measure... Again, um, it's, a, it's a large 50 ml pub measure. Okay, so maybe two egg cups? Maybe two eggs. Well, it depends how big your eggs are, um, <laughs> obviously. Uh, what I'm doing here is I'm counting in my head. You'll see a lot of professional bartenders do that. Um, little tip for you, have you go into a bar and a man's doing it, you know how bad us males are at multitasking. Yep. Don't talk to, do talk to the bartenders, because maybe we'll put him off and he'll get an extra large measure in return, because he won't be able to count in his head at the same time. Brilliant. So a little tip, and bartenders will hate me across the country now. Cassis blackcurrant liqueur. Just a dash of that. Now again, whenever you're using something sweet into a drink, to balance it, always add something sour. We're using a Mexican press again, and we've got a little inbuilt adaption there for the lime. Where can you get those from? You can get them from most of the sort of high street stores that have a, that have a sort of kitchen division, you know, sort of your John Lewis and your Habitats and those sort of things. I'm going to pop another one in there. Just so I've really nicely soured off my... my I must cassis. say, De Kuiper Creme de Cassis is one of my favourites. I love it in champagne. Oh, but, yeah, um, the Hero Oh, what's that? This is cranberry juice. Ooh. And this is... It's kind of, you know, it's, it's sort of less Christmassy, but again, the colour's very Christmassy and the cassis in there also lends, lends that sort of Christmassy flavour to it. And we're going to make sure we give it a good stir, because obviously liqueurs are, are sweetened, so they're going to be heavier than the other ingredients in your, in your, in your glass. So you want to make sure, otherwise when you put your straw in, what's going to happen is the straw's going to go straight to the bottom and you're going to get this big slug of sweetness. So we want this drink to be nicely balanced. Okay. Little garnish. There we go. Drink number two. Right, I'll move this one up, but I will come back to it later. Love it. Okay, there you go. here we go. De Kuiper Creme de Cassis. Mmm, that's just as good as that one. I love it. I love the whole sour and sweet thing together. That works really, really well.